the fall in because college football is kicking off this yes. week in Toledo. So yes. looking forward to it. Yes, and you see him on good day on a very regular basis. <laughs> yeah. And we are so glad to meet you here at home today. Yeah, absolutely. But well, thanks for hearing me. I heard the weather report. All I heard was football weather. <laughs> yes. We're ready to roll excited about it. It, it is. It's cold as ice. They're playing yeah. cold as ice, but but we're hot right now. <laughs> uh, you Toledo Athletic Director Brian Blair. So uh, Brian, we're looking forward uh, to an amazing football season and we're kicking it off this week. Absolutely. I mean, th this is, we're calling it the biggest party in Toledo. You hear the team getting ready right yeah, now. They've got they're a couple days away from actually kickoff. So they're settling in and we'll see the first time this new football team. But for our fans, they're going to see an experience for the first time. So excited for all this new, but all this continued as well. Continued because you had a great season last year. Okay. And we have to mention again, Stephen. Yes. After we were here last year, you yeah, guys won 11 in a row, I think. Something <laughs> like that. So um, we're hoping for the same this year. But you had a great season last year. How yeah. are you going to build on that? Normally, I feel pressure, but I feel think you guys should feel we, pressure. We do just, <laughs> a little, just a little bit. I mean, top 25, 11 straight wins, mm -hmm. nationally ranked. I mean, that's a big deal. So yeah. I look forward to seeing what you do this year. Um, but, no, I, I think Coach Cannon on the team, we had two semesters back-to-back -back over 3.0 as a team and 11 straight wins. Most programs don't combine those two things. Right. So we've got a great product on the field, young men that do a lot for this community and certainly serve as role models to all the young kids in stands, including my own. So when you've got that and you pair that with the dynamic experience. I think magic can happen. I love that. Students first, yeah. then athletes. Pairing the two together, you have the Rocket football team doing amazing things. So last year made it to a MAC championship yeah. game. This year, that's the plan, and the plan is to win as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. I mean, I, let's, let's, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This is the first year of a 12-team playoff, and there's a guaranteed spot for a group of five team like the University of Toledo in that playoff. We were seconds away, given a game at Illinois and a game in Miami, from taking that next step as a program. And so our guys are focused on what can be and what the possibilities are. So we're locked in. I tell people all the time, we often talk about the good old days, right? Well, the good old days of Toledo athletics are right now. So let's not sleepwalk through this thing. Right. Let's double down on what we got to make sure the good old days last a whole lot longer. I love yeah. that. Yeah, and you've got some big games uh, this season. Obviously, it kicked things off against Duquesne on Thursday, but BG, you're playing on a Saturday yeah. this year, which is a big deal, too. Yeah, I, I turned into a giddy school child uh, <laughs> when you first, say that. Yeah. I'm not even from here, but I understand the magnitude of for six straight seasons having that game on a Tuesday or Wednesday. Now to have that game on a Saturday and play that for this community in that moment is going to be special. I think they've got a pretty good program. I know we've got a really good program. So to do that in a packed house, I expect standing room only for that game. And we're going to poke the bear all week long <laughs> leading up to that game because that rivalry is good for this community. The Battle of I-75. So this Thursday, the game happens. First game of the season, first first home opener, uh, home opener of the season uh, for the Rockets. But we're talking about a party for the entire city of Toledo. So tell us about that. Yeah, I mean the reality is whether you go to the university or not, this is your city's university. This is your city's football team, right? And it's a darn good one. I started to slip up on national TV. <laughs> so, but I think that we've got an opportunity to really, no matter where you're at, you like having a good time. Mm -hmm. And so whether it's the turkey legs, whether it's the giant flat screen, whether it's a dunk tank or you just want to come out for a concert, I've got a whole bunch of reasons outside of a football game for you to come. The football is cherry on top. Mm -hmm. And I think we've got a cherry on top that's going to score a lot of points and shoot a lot of fireworks this Thursday. And this team does wonderful uh, for the MAC Conference. So just so many wins, uh, producing uh, great athletes who do so much in the community, as you mentioned as well. Just looking at community service hours for just players. It's amazing. So uh, looking forward to a wonderful yeah. season. Yeah, we had over 4,800 community service hours this year as an athletic department. Wow. That's over double on um, our previous year. So we're getting out of the community more often than ever, trying to be that role model that we know our student athletes are uh, for the future generations because that's a big piece of the puzzle they play. So we, we, we got the football part out of the way. Throughout the course of the hour, we're going to talk a lot more about that fan experience. So uh, make sure you uh, – thanks so much. Uh, best of luck this season. Oh, thank you, um, as always. Yeah, and so stay with us because when we talk fan experience – We got to talk food, right? We got to talk food, <laughs> one of my favorite things, and we're going to talk about that right after the break. The break, stay with us.